Hello everybody and welcome to the using one color challenge which is originally done by um, Drawing with Waffles who I absolutely adore so shout out to her. Her video is in um, the description. I know a few of, uh, other YouTubers have done this um, challenge using all art supplies in one color so if I see any of them I'll throw them in there as well. Um, so before we before I start explaining what this whole thing is, you can see the sketch in the background. Um, I wanted to apologize for not being um, around so much lately. I've had, I've gone back to college and uh, it's been a little bit difficult to keep up. Um, I have moved houses now. Um, so I was dealing with that all week last week. My mom was in the hospital, so, you know, I really had no time to um, sit down and actually edit these videos because this video and the video coming after that have been recorded a few weeks ago and I just haven't had the time to sit down and edit them properly. Which, you know, is it's a shame because I wanted to um, keep on top of it so I really wanted to keep doing what I was doing, but, uh, you know, life gets in the way and unfortunately it's just how it is. Um, I have hit a um, 100 subscribers <laughs> when I wasn't here, so thank you guys so much for that. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. So here I am busting out all of my green art supplies. Um, first I used some watercolors. And I took the two of them that I had in the palette that I made and then I used the palette from Windsor & Newton, um, the Cotman set, the other one that I have as well. Um, I was supposed to show every single thing that I was using to the camera, but apparently I forgot about that after the watercolors or after the liners. So um, yeah, excuse me for that, for forgetting when I was recording it. It was just, I had so many things to use. That I was actually forgetting which ones I have used, but I'm pretty sure I've used all of them. Um, you can see that on top of the screen anyway, and yeah, all of them were used, which gave quite a little variety of different shades of green. Um, so I lined it with some liners that they had around lying around, and they are not waterproof. But um, I tested them with my markers and they didn't make them bleed, so I used them. Um, it would have been a lot more of a hassle if the markers did dissolve the ink, because that can happen sometimes, and uh, I would have to line it at the very end, which is not something I'm very much used to. Um, <laughs> so yeah, here I am using some brush markers that I got a huge set of. I think there's four green ones that I all use in here, but um, it's a pr it's a pretty big set, and I have a lot of um, art supplies in different colors. So if anybody wants to see this again, I could definitely make that happen. Um, it was actually very fun to do, um, and since I had a lot of green, I decided to go with some kind of greenery. And she's casting a magic spell, and she is uh some kind of a forest kind of a creature, or at least that's what I was trying to go for. Um, I used Crayola markers and I used um, Pro markers. Um, I used some of the fine tip. No, fine. I'm not sure what they're called. Um, it's a, it's like a knockoff brand of like Copics or something that I got from China like three or four years ago at this point uh, and I still have them they're they're similar to Hoo Hoo um in their in their quality but you know they're they're good for sketchbook work mostly although they do bleed a lot um yeah so I used the pro marker for the skin it's like um a, a very light turquoise color um and when I first laid it down I was really scared that it looks wrong um, and that it's not gonna fit the piece and that it looks very alien but uh, 
once I started adding all the other green colors around it and into her figure and into her hair and into her clothes, I think it turned out pretty well. Some of the markers that I used on the leaves later um, are actually markers that um, I got in the AliExpress haul, if you remember that video. So they're metallic and they were really nice to use as well. I think my least favorite part about this challenge is the fact that it's not even, it's not really um, like a monochrome it's not because it's not the same color they're all different shades and they're warmer and colder and um, they're not just lighter and darker so sometimes the colors would clash together because they wouldn't stand out against each other not because they were they weren't um they weren't different colors but it was because they were such a similar tone that they just didn't really work um thank god that i had so many light colors and um i'm really glad that i used the watercolors because i could not achieve this kind of softness in the background without it um just because a lot of the stuff that i i did use were markers and there were creole markers and there were alcohol based markers and they tend not to come in very light colors and um, they tend to come in very saturated colors so I also used some Posca markers because those are pretty fun and um, around the time I was filming this video I actually got um, a few more Posca markers and I've been doing these tiny, tiny paintings. Um, I posted a few of them on Instagram if you want to check it out. Here, here's a, here's a little, little view of it if you're interested. Um, and my Instagram is linked below. So I will enjoy I will let you enjoy um the rest of this speed paint and I will see you in the next video which hopefully will happen a lot sooner than this one was supposed to. So yeah. Um see you guys around and thank you for watching my art. It means a lot to me. Bye.